So most people believe that a smartphone need to cost over one thousand dollars to get great performance. And time after time again, I have proved that theory incorrect. Most people look for name brand because name brand equals quality. If it ain't Apple or Samsung, if it don't have the name on it, it's not quality. And if it don't cost a thousand bucks, it's trash. Well, again, that's incorrect. So I have the new mobile B30 Pro. Now this $269 smartphone is very good in a lot of areas. So in this video, I'm going to do a gaming review for this nine, no brand device that a lot of people don't know about, but we're going to have a, some fun about it. Let's go down and talk about the B30 Pro gaming review. Sit back, relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So take a look at this device. Look how beautiful this is, right? Now this device has uh, the Dimensity 7050 processor with 12 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage. Now this thing here is very good when it comes down to gaming. But you know what, let's go on and do a game review and let me give you my thoughts as I play some games. So let's go. All right, guys, so here it is. This is gonna be Dead Trigger 2, and I have this on the controller. So one of the things that I like to do with my game reviews is I like to see how this device, how devices react to, you know, looking at load times, uh, looking at, uh, you know, gameplay, also any drop frames or anything else in between. Now, the new mobile uh, B30 Pro has a 120 hertz display uh, it has the uh, Dimensity 7050 processor. All right, we got 12 gigs of RAM. Now, looking at this game right here, now this is a benchmark game that I always use on my gaming test uh, to see if I'm gonna get any drop frames and so far so good. Now, this device has been absolutely great when it comes down to gaming so far. Now, as far as casual games, the medium to high games, you're gonna get very good performance out of this device. Uh, looking at it here, and one of the unique things of having a game controller is that uh, they have a lot of games in the app store that do support game game control support. So that is a good thing. Now, a lot of people always look at name brand and prices and stuff like that. And uh, instead of looking at the way the device performs. All right, guys, so here it is. This is going to be Asphalt 8. Uh, another intense game here, racing game, that has a lot of graphics. Now, one of the things that I like to, to test here when I'm using uh, devices is the graphics drop frames, because if your device can't handle Asphalt 8, you will see it with the drop frames and stuff like that. Now, I do have the 120 Hertz activated on this device, so just so you know. Uh, so let's go to and check out some drifts here. Let's see if I can drift. Okay, look at the smoke. Boom, let's crash. Uh, well, I try to crash so we can see the animations uh, when we crash. And let's go here, drifting. Boom, looks good. Now, you do have all the details, all the fine details here uh, when you're playing this game. And so far, so good. I don't see any drop frames so far. So, that is a good thing. All right, guys, so here it is. This is a game called Future Fight. Uh, this game is really good. Uh, what I like to test in this game is you have a lot of enemies that's going to come on the screen and you're going to have a lot of intense gameplay and so one of the things that I always mention in these game reviews is that you want to test and I want to see how device performs when it has multiple enemies on the screen flying all over the place will it stop will it stutter will it do anything especially with the uh, the dimensity process in here with all the RAM you need and everything else in between. So one of the things that we wanted, to, I always test is how good the animation is. Does it stutter? Does it hiccup? Does it do anything to hinder performance? Now, me playing this game is not getting hot, which is surprising. And, and I always say this about these mid-range devices is that, guess what? They don't get hot. That is so weird how 
flagship devices you play about 10 15 minutes a game and and all of a sudden they're burning up in your hand and you're getting all kinds of uh you know notifications that your phone is too high it's time to make it you know, time to cool it down and stuff like that and i play with mid-range devices and they play very well with no issues at all and you don't get no issues with animation i mean no issues with heat um and you know it does a very good job right all right, so this is going to be Call of Duty Mobile. Uh, again, most gamers know this uh, type of game. And think about it, right? Uh, this game is intense. Uh, a lot of gamers love this game. Uh, very intense. I got killed. Wow. On the first ring. No big deal, right? Let's see. Let's go down and get back in it. Uh, yeah, so this is Call of Duty Mobile. And again, it's going to be a very good game for people that, that love these type of games. I, you know, a headshot, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. Now, again, what these games here that I want to show y'all guys is that if you could play these games, nine times out of 10, you could, you could play any game, right? I mean, that's the key to success that uh, these games is a, to show you that you can play these games. And uh, yeah, even with the Dimensity Processor, right it is not a snapdragon and that's the key um you know and that's the thing so as you can see me playing this game 120 hertz and it's maxed out and it's doing a very good job kid shot uh and uh, yeah so if you want to play call of duty mobile you should have no problems all right guys so here it is this is Genshin impact now, this is probably going to be the first question that people are going to ask uh, can the device play Genshin Impact? The answer to that question is, of course it can. So let's look at some of the settings. Again, this is going to be a mid-tier device. So for the graphics, I'm going to go graphics on low settings and pick, it, it automatically picked it as low as far as default. Now, in order to get a very good gaming experience, I would say keep it all at low. Now, you're definitely going to get a very good experience overall, but but... I mean, you have to understand that this is not a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor. This is not a thousand dollar phone. Uh, this is not a gaming phone. This is a under three hundred dollar phone with a very good processor with 12 gigs of RAM in it. So you're not going to get that high boosted quality as far as you can't put it. I'm sure I could put it a little higher, but I'm going to keep it at default. So here it is. Let's go down and do some gameplay. Let's walk around a little bit. And let's see what it's all about. Now, even at low settings, you still get a very, very good experience here. Okay. Now looking at it, looking at the graphics. And one of the things I do, you do get some shadows. Uh, as you can see, they do have some shadows here. And one of the things that I do when I do these games here on like Genshin Impact is as I'm walking around and I'm looking at the characters that's popping on the screen, I'm looking for any slowdowns, any hiccups. Uh, and I'm not seeing that. As you can see, it's playing it pretty well. Now, I want, once I walk up to a character and communicate, one of the things I want to see is how good and how bad it's going to communicate. Let me go back. Okay. Uh, so that's one of the things. Let me go back. Let's talk to talk to her for a second. And so once you click on it, how instant is it? And it is pretty instant. So uh, as you see right there, you don't have no problems. You know, say goodbye. And uh, so go from there. So I just teleported uh, to another section on the map. And uh, I will show you guys some of these water scenes here. And uh, look like it's doing it pretty well. Uh, and I kind of want to give you an extended uh, look of Genshin Impact. And the reason why is because once again, people will ask the question when you're doing gaming reviews, can it play games at a high pace? Could it play high end games? Uh, and the question, the answer to that question is, yes, it can. So these games, uh, when you're playing them, you could play, you could get a very good experience uh, at a low setting. And I want y'all guys to look at the environment. Everything looks good and go from there. But once again, this is Genshin Impact, uh, playing it on the B30 Pro. Uh, and as far as the, the heat, it's a little warm at the bottom, not gonna lie to you. Uh, and, but 
I expected that out of out of a game just with all this, you know, background and, and all this intense graphics and stuff on the screen. Yes, I would tell you that it's absolutely getting a little warm. Okay. And I'll get a little fight scene in there. Okay. So. You know, I'll let y'all guys see this little fight scene. <laughs> Who's the master? Oh, you coming back for Mo? You coming back for Mo? All right, that is Genshin Impact on the B30 Pro. <laughs> so here's my conclusion. Can you play games on the B30 Pro? Absolutely. You can get a very good experience overall. I tell people this all the time. Don't get caught up in the hype. Don't You don't need to spend a thousand bucks on the smartphone to get all the bells and whistles. Think about this. You got If you want a smartphone that has a beautiful 120 hertz display, Boom, the new mobile B30 Pro got you covered. If you want a smartphone that's a very good performer, boom, the B30 Pro has you covered. If you want great battery life, again, the B30 got you covered. If you want to spend under $300 on a smartphone to get a lot and pay less, these devices do a very good job with that. So if you want to see more videos of the B30 Pro or any other tech toys, please make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. This is Eric. See you guys on the next video. Peace.